All right, well, I've quite literally just finished filming my sound deadening review, which will now be up on YouTube, by the way, and I am starving, so, which is really good because the next video that I'm actually about to film right now is a review of the Kick-Ass 12-volt travel oven. So that's something that I have never used before. I'm gonna head over to Josh's house and we're gonna cook up some pies and test it out for the first time. Two hours and ten minutes from cold, and the sausage rolls are ready. The actual, um, the, the finish is actually pretty good. They're not all soggy, which I was kind of expecting to be honest, because it's um, enclosed, it doesn't have a fan, but it's quite crispy, and you can see, I don't know if you can see the steam, but they are really hot, and um, you can hear the crunch as well. Mm. I like that. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have one too. <laughs> Have a go at that. That's taken just around an hour and a half in the oven. Um, it's just a Woolies pizza, but it looks absolutely delicious. So today I'm doing a review of the Kick-Ass 12 volt travel oven. So I've had it in the back of the chimney for the last three days and it's pretty much been running consecutively, cooking me lunch and dinner while I've been up on the Sunshine Coast. When I first got the oven, I think the thing that surprised me most was the build quality of the oven. So I expected it to be a lot lighter, I guess, and cheaper made, but the build quality is actually, it's built out of stainless steel and it has a really sturdy feel to it. And it does have quite a bit of weight as well. So it doesn't bounce around, it doesn't slide around. And like I said, there's no rattling. So it is a 12 volt travel oven. So it comes with an Anderson plug pre-wired and also does come with a cigarette plug adapter if that's how you want to use it. So out of the box, you're obviously getting the 12 volt oven, you're getting a cigarette plug adapter. You're also getting a trivet tray, which is great for roasts and things like that. And you're getting two wire racks. You can use that for, you know, lower level for sausage rolls, upper level for pies, however it is you want to do it. You just get a little bit of extra space that you can use in there. So for me, one of the really great things about it is how well insulated it is. So I can actually just leave it in the back of the chimney with my camera bag leaning up against it, you know, max tracks, plastic things against it, and not have to worry about anything burning, melting, you know, catching fire. So the top, back and sides are all really well insulated so you pretty much get no heat coming through them at all. You can just rest your hand on that, it's a little bit warm but definitely not hot. The underside does generate a fair bit of heat as does the front door. So the door is insulated but it's like I said it does generate a little bit of heat but definitely the hottest part is the underside. But that does bring me to the mounting points. So it's got two mounting points on the top and two on the bottom. So you can mount it on the roof or depending on your setup, so all the heat is coming down. Or if you mount it on top of any material that's not really flammable or isn't gonna get bowed by the heat, you can just have it sitting on there or even just sitting on a bench top. As far as power draw goes, the oven's pretty standard. I found over the last three days, it's averaged to draw around 10.5 amps. Overall, I think this is a really awesome little unit. There is one thing that you do need to consider if you're getting one. This isn't really like your oven at home in a way that you can just turn it on, preheat it for 10 minutes and chuck your things in. I found that it takes around 30 to 40 minutes to get it really hot. Once you've got it hot, you know, it takes between an hour and an hour and a half to heat something up to a nice, hot, you know, crispy kind of level. But the thing that you really should remember is to preheat it before you're doing it. And if you're getting to a campsite and then you're turning it on, you're going to be sitting around for a while waiting for it to heat up, waiting for the food to cook. So a really good idea is to mount it somewhere where it's not going to, you know, bounce around like in the back of my car, but mount it somewhere and then, you know, two hours before you get there, just turn it on. You can even turn the heat down to, you know, 80 degrees or 100 degrees if you don't want it too hot. And you can put your food in, start getting it warmed up along the way, or just have it ready to go as soon as you get to the campsite. And, you know, jump online, look at some inspiration for some different recipes. I've seen people baking things from muffins, you know, cakes to literally nachos, you know, uh, roasts, steaming your veggies in it, everything I've seen cooked in these things. So jump online, some really good Facebook groups, some really good support places. You can get some really cool recipes. I'm really looking forward to trying more. So keep an eye on my Instagram because I'm definitely going to be posting some of the things that I cook up every time I go camping. So if you're interested in getting one of these for yourself, it's $289 and you can get it online or in store from Australian Direct. So it's just the Kick-Ass brand 12 volt travel oven. 
Well, that just about sums up this video. Thanks again for watching another one of my videos. If you're interested in getting one of these for yourself, I'll leave the link down below in the description for you to check it out.